population no longer using the Lucerne Hotel on the Upper West Side as a shelter. They will relocate people housed there during the pandemic. Al Sharpton said yesterday, proper policing in the Big Apple is necessary and latte liberals, he called them, are the ones hoping to defund the police. Dig in your reaction, getting this reaction actually on what has taken place. So the Lucerne is one of three hotels that uh, homeless individuals were moved into at the because of the mayor. And she, I, I've had long conversations with uh, Cheryl Cassoni uh, about this very topic. But you literally have people in a residential family neighborhood who were living in the street even though they're in the hotel harassing people there were performing there were sex acts being performed in broad daylight uh you can i can't even it at seven, almost 7 30 in the morning describe what was going on at one point you had more than a handful of convicted sex offenders living in one of these hotels one of whom raped a four-year-old child right near a, a park and a public school so literally the build was might be the worst mayor uh, in the history of, well, the United States of America in terms of what is going on. His wife's initiative, Thrive New York, literally almost not literally figuratively set fire to a billion dollars. That's how much fun funding has been wasted on t trying to take care of people who are mentally ill. In fact, that she and she has a two million dollar staff of 14 amid the budget crisis in New York City. So New York City is an open sewer. Don't come here. Don't come here until we have a new mayor. Remember, over the weekend, we had 28 shot, including a child, and that was described as peaceful. I, I don't know what changes here, but I can tell you that the people living on the Upper West Side is kind of a hot bit of liberalism until they had what was basically an open sewer out in the street, sex acts being performed in broad daylight. And they went out and hired a lawyer who used to work for Rudy Giuliani. That's the only reason anything got changed is because they had to go out and bring in a legal team. And they, now they're acting like a bunch of right wing conservatives, aren't they? Well, you and I, I think, take this personally because we live in New York and we've watched this city decline. But you also look at other Democrat run cities, Maddie, like San Francisco, like Los Angeles. Look at the homeless problem there. I mean, uh, you've got to wonder whether or not this is policy that is creating this massive decline for our biggest cities. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer spent over a million dollars on security upgrades for the governor's residence, including a new perimeter fence. That was in May, Whitmer cited a growing number of threats against her amid police brutality protests and the state's stringent COVID-19 lockdown. But, Maddie, there wasn't any increased security anywhere else. It was just the governor's mansion. Well, and I would include Washington, D.C., where I live in that list of cities that can't seem to get out of its own way. Dagan has done more than anyone else to document how challenging it is to live in New York. I love New York City. I'm sure as heck not going to move there for all the problems that we've talked about here today. But listen, it's no surprise some of the consequences of the policy decisions that have been made here. Giving homeless uh, individuals shelter in the hotels doesn't bother me as much as the fact that there's zero policy in place to have affordable housing in huge cities. In fact, Act, you've got Senator Chuck Schumer talking this last week about how his number one priority, if he takes hold of the Senate, is to be able to give a tax cut to higher income earners by repealing the SALT deduction. Nothing about individuals who need help the most, even though Democrats say that's exactly what their policies are supposed to do. I think that what you're living and experiencing in New York proves otherwise. I wish I could tell the story of what happened to me over the weekend, but it is so disgusting, I actually can't tell it on um, live television this early in the morning. But suffice it to say, an individual who com did something extremely vile in front of me, he didn't even get a ticket. The, co the cops throw their hands up and they're like, he doesn't have an ID card, what am I supposed to do? We arrested all the people who were looting during the riots in June and they were right back out on the street to rob and loot and riot again. Really a sad state of affairs. Coming up, the cost of this pandemic. The chairman and CEO of Chubb is here, Evan Greenberg.